Branding is incredibly important, especially if you already have an established business. But even if you are just starting out, you need to be thinking about your branding. Don't get hung up on it, okay? But it is important. And Canva is how I have always done my branding. This is how I set up my colors and my fonts and my logos and anything else that I need to do, I do it within Canva because it's easy and because I'm already in there. I already pay for my pro membership, so the branding part of Canva's website is heavily used by myself. Let's head over to Canva so I can show you exactly how to set up your brand identity and maybe show you a few things you haven't set up yet. All right, so the first thing you'll do is once you've logged in, you're going to navigate over to the brands by going over to the left-hand side and then clicking on where it says brand, and then it has a little crown. Once you do that, you'll come to this page that you see here. And this is going to have um, a new menu pop up and it's gonna be brand kits, brand templates, and then brand controls. You'll see that over on the right-hand side, my brand templates are already showing. If you have them, then they should show up as well. Um, but for now, what we're going to do is we're just going to head over to brand kits because that's really where it all starts. When you have a pro membership, you could also use this area kind of similarly to how I use my affinity designer that I showed you guys in the previous video and how I will put up my color palette and I will put some inspiration and all of that. You can use brand kits for that as well. So, you know, you could have up to 1,000, I believe it is, brand kits in here. And I'm doubting you're gonna have a thousand, uh, you know, companies that need branding. So you could definitely choose like a certain design style, something that you regularly design in, let's say you design in more watercolor. You could have um, all of your watercolor stuff in there. You could have a watercolor color palette, you know, different types of things. So just start thinking of different ways that you can use this section because it's really valuable and not talked about a whole lot. So I'm going to pop right into here. This is my selling digital brand kit. And you can see that we have logos right up here. And I only have three here, but you can have more. Um, I like to have it in various types. So let's say I need it in a square like I do here. Um, or maybe I need it in a circle for another type of thing that I do. Um, I have it as a PNG. So you can have it in a lot of different ways. This is helpful because let's say you're working on social media posts, then you can grab whichever one works or looks right on the social media posts that you're creating. You can, um, if you're making a newsletter, if you're making a mock-up, uh, if you're working on your website, so many different reasons why you would need a variations of your logo and you can put them all here uh, so that they're just quick and easy to access instead of having to upload every single time or look through your uploads because if you're anything like me you have hundreds of things in your uploads so this makes it really nice and easy you can also have your color palettes and the great thing about it is that once you do have your colors you will see your hex codes a hex code is the basically the color code you can put it into anything i can put this code right here into anything and it will find that exact color the exact same one. So this is really important for a lot of different things when you're creating your website. You oftentimes need to have the hex codes to be able to do that. If you're hiring somebody to do something for you, they're going to need your hex codes or your color profile, however they phrase it. I have two. I have one that is my primary colors, the primary meaning like the main ones that I use, the really bright ones. And then I also have pastel versions of these colors because sometimes, especially on these social media posts and designs, the bold colors tend to be too much. And so I need to have like a little bit muted color. So I have two color palettes in mine and you can add even more color palettes. This is really, really helpful. And I, when we're, when I'm done going over it, I'll show you just kind of how I might use it in my workflow so that you guys can really see that. But when we come down here, you can see that there are fonts. So when you have chosen a font that you want to use for something, you can put that in here again, making it super easy later in your workflow. Uh, you can also have them in specific categories in the subheadings. You can have maybe a font that you use or in the body. Like for mine, Poppins is one that I like to use for the body sometimes. Sometimes I don't. I, I use a variety. I almost always use Bright Harmony for my main text and then the the Britney font is actually the one that I have for the word selling up here. And so sometimes I need kind of a scripty type font and that's the one that I will always go to for that. And then also if you have Canva Pro, you're able to upload fonts. So for instance, I got these two fonts. I believe I got them from 
either Creative Fabrica or I got them from Design Bundles. So I was able to upload uh, these types of fonts into Canva because I have a pro membership. So something also really cool there. Scrolling down, you can also add in your branding voice. I feel like this is fairly new because of the AI. So when you want, if you want a specific brand voice and how a brand voice works is like, let's say I'm creating some sort of social media post and I want to use the AI built in the magic, right? It will pull from my brand voice and be able to help me uh, write something that would sound more genuine like me when I'm having a, a hard time or whatever, trying to type something out. Oftentimes I will type something out and I'm like, this could really sound better. And I will ask for help. And when I do that, it's able to pull my brand voice. I'm, you know, I like to be more bubbly and friendly and all of that. So I wouldn't want something that sounded like super monotone or um, overly complicated or, you know what I mean? So it, it pulls your brand voice. So this is a really cool thing to have on here as well. And then you can add any photos. So if there's photos that you use often, you could put those in here. Um, I don't have any, I don't have any actual photos that I really need, but I do have a specific graphic down here that is used a lot in either a background or in a banner. I often use this. So that's it, one that I have in there. And then you can also add icons. Again, I don't have any icons, but if you did, you can add those here. So you can scroll down and you can click on each individual one to be able to adjust them. Or you can go over here and you can see where it says, brand kit and then it says logo so it'll just navigate you to the different sections so you can navigate whichever way that you want if this is like really filled in it's a lot nicer to have the toggle or the um the way to navigate over here on the left versus like scrolling through forever if you have so much on here then there are brand templates and the brand templates are really special because when you use them, all it does is kind of create a copy of that without adjusting the actual template. So for instance, when I create a freebie for you guys, I use this template here and it will, it has everything that I want exactly how I want it, but then I will just click on use this brand template. And then now I'm able to make the adjustments and change this without adjusting the main template. So I don't have to recreate this whole entire thing um, every single time I want to post a post a new freebie for you guys. It's just a brand template. It's the one I'm always going to use for, for freebies. So I just go in and I click and then I edit it however I need to. So brand templates are super, super helpful. You can use them for your social media posts or uh, your newsletters, all, all different types of things that you can use your brand templates for. Also, um, you could use them for mockups. That's another great way to use brand templates. Now in brand controls, this is really, to me, only really helpful if you have a team of people that are using this Canva and you are able to do it together. So let's say you have an assistant or you have a team of people working on your Etsy shop. Maybe you and your sister own an Etsy shop together or you know whatever it is. If you have somebody who needs to access these same things and you're using it as a team, this is really helpful. So you could say, these are the only colors that are able to be allowed. This is the only font. This is, um, and then you can do design approvals uh, so that if they create a social media post or something and they need, you need to approve it really quick. It makes the, the team aspect really seamless and really easy in the brand controls. But like, I don't, I don't personally use this yet, but maybe that's something that I will use in the future. So now I just want to go over how one might utilize these within their workflow. Okay. So I'm just going to click on social media and then we'll pick something random. Let's do an Instagram post. So it's already sized perfectly, right? So now if I want to just grab my brand stuff for selling digital, I click on brand and everything for selling digital will just pop up right here on the left-hand side. I don't have to go looking around for what are my colors or um, use the eyedropper tool or something to find my colors or go find my logo or my fonts or anything. It's just already there for me. So let's just do, let's say I just want to create some sort of post that's uh, inspirational to help people get motivated to design for their day or something, okay? One thing I love to do is to use the shuffle feature. I only have one thing on this, obviously, so it's not gonna be that exciting, but you could shuffle and what it'll do is it'll just go through the different colors and it will change all the elements on here. So sometimes I like to do that. Every time you click it, it's gonna do a different one or I can choose to go pastel. All right, so let's choose purple. That sounds great. And then let's do the circle selling digital. 
And I'll pop that up here maybe, looks cute. Let's see, do I want to have this on here? I think I might want this, but I think what we'll do is we will just stretch it out. There we go. And then I will grab a white box and we'll change this to white and then size it accordingly. That's good. Move it to the back. I like that. So let's do, I got an idea. See, you just like start designing and all of a sudden you just get an idea going. So we'll just do that as more like the purple can be like the frame. And then this can get shrunk down or cropped, I guess you could say. We'll just crop this to fit just in the just in the white. Yep, that's cute, love that. And then this one, I think I'll actually get rid of that. And we will go back to brand and I'll just choose this one here, except now I'm gonna put it down here. Cute. Okay, so now let's go ahead and choose some sort of warm quote or something. Okay, so we are going to generate over here using the brand voice. And I'm going to give it something that I want. Describe your writing task. Okay, I would like a kind and motivational quote about getting started with designing for the day and then we'll click generate and it's going to use that brand voice that I have in there to create a nice little quote post for me so it says every masterpiece begins with a single stroke of the brush embrace the blank canvas of today with courage and creativity for the possibilities are endless and your unique vision is ready to shine. If I love it, I will keep it. If not, I will continue on, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. So I'll push insert or enter. So now to adjust the font, I'm going to double click and I'm gonna go up to font and then my brand fonts are going to be here where it says selling digital and it's gonna have my brand fonts. And so then I'll just click there. So we'll do that. And then I'm going to make this in the center, shrink it down a bit. Maybe shrink this, there we go, that looks better, okay? And I could do some more on this if I wanted, but overall this looks cute, so then this would be done. So you can see how having the brand kit um, pulled up is really helpful. Let me show you again really quick uh, how to use the, the shuffle of the colors, because this can be really fun once you have everything on there and you're like, oh, do I love the colors? I don't know, something's off. Uh, we can click on shuffle and it'll just shuffle everything in the design including the font so every time i click it it's going to give me a new color palette so let's go back to uh pastel and it'll do it again so sometimes it can be really fun and really nice to go through and just create a whole different one so this one's actually randomly really cute i would probably still change the color of the font to white or something like that I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and learning how to create a brand kit within Canva. Don't forget that you can use this in a lot of different ways. Don't get stuck on just like the logos and the brand that you have. You can also use it as a way of creating specific designs with specific palettes. Really try to utilize this to its fullest, especially if you are using Canva primarily for any of your designing. It would be super, super helpful. And if I was using Canva primarily as my design platform, I would definitely be doing that. I mean, the ability to have up to a thousand is pretty incredible. So definitely get in there and do that. If you guys have any questions about this or anything else, please leave them in the comments down below. I love hearing from you guys. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up so it gets sent out to all the other people who need to learn about Canva and brand identities. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified every single time I post a video. Now go out there, go design a life you love, and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.